Are you tired of the same old boring black bars that you see when your videos are exported in LumaFusion? I'm going to show you how to create a blurred background. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. I'm going to upload this footage to YouTube, so I've used the 16 by 9 aspect frame. That's what creates the black bars when you export a video, like an iPhone tutorial. The first thing I'll do is bring my footage down into the main timeline. To create the blurred background effect, I need two copies of the same footage. So I'll take another copy and drop it on top of the first video track. I need to make sure that both clips match up exactly. If I don't, the motion in the video may be distracting to the viewer. Notice that when I drop the footage down, it fills the entire 16 by 9 preview area. I'll double tap the top clip and shrink it down so the entire iPhone screen is visible. Select frame and fit and size and position to do this. You can either use the size slider or pinch and zoom. That looks great. Now I'll remove my unwanted footage. I'll position the playhead exactly where I want it and then tap on the split icon, the scissors, and remove the clips to the left hand side. Now my clip starts exactly where I want it to. And it matches up perfectly so the motion in the video will not be distracting. Normally when I use this effect, it's to hide some personal information, but you can use it to create a cool effect which will allow you to remove the black bars when this video is exported and uploaded to YouTube. If you're working with multiple video tracks and need to edit them together, to make this effect look proper, you can do that. Notice when nothing is selected, if you hit the split icon, it will split both tracks at the same position. Then you can just remove the unwanted footage and continue playing to the end of your clip. Now that my editing is finished, let's create the effect. Double tap the bottom clip. Tap on color and effects, and then tap the teardrop to bring up the Gaussian blur. I don't want to completely blur the bottom clip, just make it look cool. So I'm going to play around with the blur until I get it just right. I would suggest using Gaussian 10 or Gaussian 20 to make this effect look the best. Gaussian 40 to 100% is too strong, and Gaussian 5 is not strong enough. Play around with the blur until it looks great to you. To adjust the strength, either use the radius slider or choose the blur that you'd like from the top. That looks okay. It's blurred, but we can still see what it is, and our eye should still be focused on the iPhone screen. Next, I'll go back to the beginning of the clip to see what the blur looks like. Notice that the blur is not applied to the beginning of the clip. This is because when I was editing, I forgot that I split the clip in multiple places. This is why it's important to edit both of your clips at the same time. To fix this, I'll double tap the bottom clip once more and select exactly the same blur as I did in the last part of the tutorial. This will ensure that the blurred sections placed on both clips will match. Now if I go back to the beginning of the clip, you can see that a Gaussian 10% blur has been applied to the entire clip, and it matches. The information is still visible, but does not distract from the main video clip. Once this video is exported, the black bars will be replaced with this blurred background, giving the viewer something interesting to look at. Do you like this effect? Let me know in the comments below. Once the video is finished playing and you're happy with it, export the video so that you can use it in any project you like. If you'd like to create another background, check out the YouTube card on screen now. To see any of my other tutorials, check out the links available in the video description below. 
Remember to let your editing software work for you and not the other way around.